So as you can see guys, we have a boot full of tools. That can mean only one thing. We are about to start the teardown and rebuild of this beautiful Nissan Qashqai. Okay, well, I guess we can't put this off much longer, can we really? We've got to get this wheel off of here. That'll be the first port of call. I'm hoping you guys can hear me on this lovely new little lapel mic we've got here. Let's get this wheel out of the way and see exactly what we are dealing with underneath here. I don't imagine there's much damage underneath here, to be fair, because it drives perfectly well. And I don't think it had a knockdown here. It seemed to be more up in this kind of area here, as you can see. What I imagine is it was a front impact that kind of scraped along the side here. In hindsight, looking down here, there is a little kink in here so obviously the wing did just kick back slightly i imagine that's this little tiny kink here probably happened when they opened the door obviously someone's had a little wallop and they've opened the door and it's gone and that's the end of that but a little bit of touch up paint there if i was going to be selling this car on to a new customer i would be more concerned about that in fact if i was selling this car on as i sometimes do i would be extraordinarily concerned about many aspects of this car but as we're going to keep it as a family car then i'm not overly concerned there's a bit of a lip on the disc there but to be fair I don't think there's much going on here. Looks like it's had new drop links at some point here as well. They're pretty much brand new by the looks of things. Nothing leaking. All the uh, covers look to be the way they should be. The caliper is rusty as hell. What I'm going to do is at some point, once we finish this repair here, this strip and uh, rebuild as it were, once we've done that, I'm going to get it back in here and I'm going to paint these either silver, red, uh, black. I'm not quite sure yet. Probably just silver to be fair. But uh, I guess we better get on with this. What I'll probably do is get you guys on time lapse and start stripping what I can and seeing what I can because obviously it's a bit of a maze here. I couldn't find any videos on how to get the wing off, how to get the light out, how to get the bumper off. So I'm just going to have to wing it to coin a phrase. So let's get on with it. Well, if ever I was going to pick a day to get this done, I think today's probably the day to do it. So we've got a couple of screws by the looks of things here. Nothing overly dramatic. We'll just pop these out. That should drop this little bit of plastic here, which is fine, because I want to see about replacing this trim as well. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but uh, we'll see as we get along here. Anyway, that was uh, far easier than I expected. The trick is just pop the screws into the bottom of here, because if you're anything like me, you'll probably end up losing, and then you think, well, which screw fits in where? Right. Right then, now I can have a little look at this because I got a feeling this will come off with the wing and then what we're going to have to do is get this off the wing, see if we can remould it as it were, maybe a bit of heat on here when we try to fix that bumper but for now what I'm most concentrating on is getting this arch liner out because obviously we've got to get the wing off and I imagine all the bolts as per usual are going to be behind the arch liner. So time to get down and dirty as they say, get in here and see exactly what we're dealing with. Okay nothing too dramatic, one missing up here, I, looks like that's broken, fantastic. All right we've got a little clip up here by the looks of things. These by the way brilliant little tools, I suggest you get one if you're going to be doing work like this because it just makes things so much easier to pop these kind of clips out of which generally speaking when you're taking off these trims there are a few as i said we're trying to find out what's going on here together because uh, i couldn't f find much really in the way of instructions okay that's also a little crack of some description with some kind of bloody bolt i can't work out so bear with me i will work out what's going on here and cut back in. So I've got my glasses, <laughs> I've got my torch. What kind of bolts are these? These look like pop rivets, so I'm assuming they don't actually come off. What we might find is by taking off this lower scuttle panel here, that this will fall away. That's entirely possible. I did find another screw here, so let's get him off. Again, if you haven't got yourself one of these guys, I highly suggest you do. Pretty cheap, Ruyika power ratchet. Makes the job so much bloody simpler. <laughs> Literally zip them out and uh, as I said, it makes things much easier. Right, okay, now we can see what we're doing with that arch liner. Look, that makes much more sense, doesn't it? That's the first part of the arch liner, kind of loose at least, what we're gonna need to do. I mean, this wing's mullered anyway, isn't it? So it's not like we've gotta be gentle per se. We've just gotta make sure we don't break anything. Oh, and here's a nice bit of headlight. Yeah, oh, nice and leaves. Look at that. But a bit like this video will actually help out people that haven't found a video on how to take a wing off a bloody Nissan Qashqai. We're going to have to make our own. <laughs> Simple as that. In fact, I couldn't find many videos, generally speaking, on salvage Qashqai. Bloody hell, look at the state of this. It's half a treat in here. What the actual fickle fact is going on here then? Do try not to break these guys because, these little clips, because they're bugger to get hold of. Alrighty, so that is the arch liner out along with half a tree by the looks of things. It's gonna be fun. Okay, well that's actually not too difficult to work out, is it? Right. 
how do we get this wing off? I'm assuming exactly the same way as we got the wing off of the little Corsa, which I'm hoping you've seen the video on. Two little bolts just down here, covered in crap. Right, let's get those cleaned up. Trust me when I say that is never a bloody easy job getting that mastic off there. It's the hardest job I've done so far in this car, I think. The simplest solution, I think now, to finding out exactly where this wing connects in is to look at the new wing. Yes, I know it looks harsh, but we're not using this again, are we? So I'll we'll keep that lens in case we break the other one. All right, let's get this bonnet up. We've like, no, there are going to be more clips underneath here. The only problem we've got is the wing holds the bonnet stay. So we're not going to be able to keep the bonnet up. So we're going to have to find a bit of stick or something. As you can see guys we are making some progress now the wing is off and we can see exactly what's going on damage wise there seems to be a bit of a bend in the headlight bracket that shouldn't take too much to bend back around apart from that all the sockets and plugs look fine so far there was a little bit of a crack in one of them i believe but so far it looks like we just got to bend this back around i'm pretty sure that's got to be in there as a bend as that has as well we'll take these original headlamp retaining bolts out and then we can offer everything back up and see how we get on fitting the new parts i mean obviously when you start fitting the newer parts you'll see exactly what's out of line what's in line and it'll make things far more obvious so uh, i guess we'll get back on the tripod offer up the new headlight see where we get on the good news, as you can tell, guys, is we didn't actually have to take off the bumper. All I had to do was release it, the pressure, as it were, on the top end over here. Now, obviously, we can get in behind here and have a little look, see what we can do about pushing this back out, because I might try to do that before we put the headlight in, simply because once the headlight's in, there's limited access. Well, I think you'll agree that worked out pretty spectacularly. One more go on that and I think we're done. Well, I think you'd have to agree that's worked out really, really well. There is a little indiscretion just here where the fog light blank kind of sticks in there, but I don't think there's much we can do about that. And I'm not really going to let it wear on me too much. I might try to do something about it in a minute, but I've got most of it out. I mean, I can always get in underneath and have a little better look, maybe even pop it out, put it back in. That's all it's going to take, but that has come out far better than I thought it would, which means probably we can get that trim off and reuse that. So the next job obviously is to try to get the headlight in. I've bent back that bracket as much as I can, and uh, we'll just see if it lines up. Well, as you can see, guys, the wing is on now, the new replacement wing, which looks like it's been dragged through a bloody hedge. The headlight is on and working as well. There's a couple of plugs that were kind of tied up out of the way here, and I don't know what they're for. One comes from the water bottles, one comes from somewhere completely odd that I haven't quite worked out. I can only assume that that is for front fog lights if you have them. This has blanking plates, so it doesn't have those, so maybe that's the wire. They just kind of put into the loom, and then if you want to put them in, or maybe if you bought one with fog lights, that's where it plugs in. If you've got any uh, info on that, just chime in and let me know. But I've got no clue at to this point still loads of crap everywhere but the wing is on the only problem i've got slight problem is just the way it clips in because as uh, i'm not sure whether you guys saw that because the camera ran out of battery while we were trying to get the old wing off and talk about putting the new bits onto the new wing and they didn't give you the little plastic white bit that fits in here which basically slots the bumper into the wing so i've had to cannibalize it off that one there it broke obviously trying to get it off because these things always do and i've got it in there as best i can the only thing is there's a little gap here and i'm not sure what 
what's going on with that and this is very very loose so what I'm going to do is try to basically wedge that in there with something I'm not quite sure but the gap seems okay the wing to door gap looks pretty good all the way around so there's no problem there there is a bit more of a gap at the bottom there but I think that's where the fatter part of the trim the wheel trim uh, the arch trim sorry goes in so I'm hoping that's going to fix that up so what we're going to do now basically I've got very very little battery power guys so I'm not going to be able to put you on tripod for this apologies I should have charged the camera before we started this but as you can see everything is going back together pretty well I'm really impressed with the way that bumper popped out there with just a bit of hot water that saved me an entire bumper the wing well we know about the wing it's got a nice great big scratch on it what can you do uh, they have given me I think it's 35 quid back for the fact that it didn't have any trim and it's got a bloody great scratch on it the odd thing is when I spoke to them about the scratch because you could see it in the picture she said no this is a grade a item and I emailed her and said look who the hell is grading these because that's a grade c at best but uh, you know it's going to be a family car so we're not going to be having to sell it on I don't have to worry about that I did manage to put a tiny little scratch in just here I think but uh, again it's going to be our car it's not going to be anything that I need to worry about I've got some touch-up paint the next job obviously is going to be to get that wheel trim off there get it onto here which I don't know how easy that's going to be until we try and then get the wheel back on get it down on the floor and then that will be basically the end of this video so uh, I won't bore you with me trying to get the trim off I'll just do it and then I'll cut back in when it's all back together and we'll sign off the video and I'll tell you exactly how I feel about this project and how it went well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be actually guys it was just literally pop off the trim there there is a bit of a gap obviously just around about here somewhere I'm trying to just pop that in a little bit better it's not perfect it will never be perfect because this car has taken a wallop at the front so obviously things are going to be slightly out of alignment I mean the gap at the top of the door there between the wing and the door is slightly different that part down there did cover up the bit I was assuming it would do but I think you'll agree for the sum total of 160 pounds I think this cost to fix that's 100 pound for the new headlight and 60 quid for the wing I'm going to polish the living daylights out of this little scratch here maybe even touch it up a little bit if need be we've got to basically mop the entire car because it's so full of scratches being a black car but I think you'll agree that has come out far better than expected for the money you know as I said it's taken a morning and it's cost 160 quid don't think you can argue with that I'm just a bit miffed about that little gap there and a little gap here but uh, you know I will try to do something with that I'll try to align it a little bit better once everything's back together because as I said once the car's polished and we're driving it using it as it were I can actually think about stuff like that you know get it fine-tuned as it were right let's get this wheel back on and get it back on its four wheels all right guys then we are done by the looks of things obviously we've got to do a huge clean up with this car but as you can see the wheels back on the arch liners in the bumpers clipped in the wings in the lights in everything works bit of a faff up in this top area here if I'm honest trying to get these holes to line up again I've still got to find out where I can get some clips to clip this little bit of plastic in but it's so inconsequential I'm not going to worry about it everything else is back in I'm not overly happy with this gap here if I'm honest but as I've said many times when you get a wallop in the front like that things do move that little bracket I showed you at the beginning of this video it's possible that's not quite in the right position maybe a couple of mil either way that kind of stuff and that would then be perfect but this car was never going to be about being showroom condition perfect again it was basically as cheaply and as quickly as possible to get this car back on the road looking much better and I think you'll agree that does I'm really impressed by the way that's just popped out there it's a theory I've seen on YouTube many times and as you hopefully saw on video there bit of hot water get a glove on pop it out jobs are good and wouldn't be quite so easy obviously if you had a spotlight in there perhaps but uh, as we we didn't it was easy this arch liner here this black one it's gone on it's not going to go on any better than that I don't think really I could try to epoxy it in a little bit better perhaps but as I said this is just going to be our runaround for the time being now just to walk the dog and go shopping that kind of stuff pop off to the beach but I think you'll agree for 160 quid and a morning's work that's pretty good I'm pretty impressed with that we will obviously give this a huge machine polish at some point as well and then we'll jump in the car and I'll take us out on the road and I'll let you know exactly how it drives how it feels you know the mpgs all that kind of spec stuff we'll do in the last video in this series but for today that is it it's been a glorious day england have just beaten australia at the football women's football that is so i'm very happy about that i'm shame i couldn't watch it but obviously i was out here doing this but that's it if you want to see how this progresses and see how it finally turns out please consider subscribing give the video a like a share a thumbs up all that kind of good stuff really really helps takes you a second doesn't cost you anything means the world to me i really would appreciate it and we'll catch up in a couple of weeks when we polish the living hell out of this car and i'll tell you what I actually think of the Nissan Qashqai. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. We'll catch up in a couple of weeks. Take care, guys.